Can we talk to please stand for pledge? of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we'll get the um, approval of minutes of June 16th. I make a motion that we approve the uh, minutes presented to us for the meeting on June 16th. I second the motion. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. The motion to accept the financial report and payment of the bills. So move. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Okay, Steve, budget amendment. I have uh, one budget amendment uh, for last fiscal year, uh, fiscal year 2010, this budget amendment number 2010-020. It is recognized $26,870 in a community, a case coastal communities initiative grant for the purpose of uh, upgrading our comprehensive plan. Okay. okay, do I have a motion to accept budget amendment 2010-020? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Motion carried. Ken, Seven Trent. Good evening, Mayor, Council. How you doing? Doing pretty good. Yeah. Try to keep stay cool. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'd like to give you a report for the month of May uh, in uh, June. Uh, I several things I want to cover, so I'll, I'll go fairly fast. The um, the uh, effluent quality uh, table uh, for May we did real well. We had no no violations. <clears throat> we had a good BOD 2.4 milligram per liter going out of the plant. We had uh, ammonia 0.6. Uh, we had really good numbers. We had. Uh, several events going on I think I maybe mentioned it to you at the last meeting that you know the nitrate recycle pump went out so we had to pump down the uh, one of the channels so we replaced the uh, nitrate recycle pump with a backup pump we were able to do it in-house uh, uh, and uh, we made some modifications to, uh, to uh, uh, make it a little bit safer to do so I'm pretty confident now and uh, we can handle this, this nitrate pump. It's a pretty big pump. And uh, so we were able to do that in-house. So I'm real pleased with that. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, we had the, um, it's worth mentioning that the Korean delegation came to the plant and we were able to give them a tour. Uh, there was approximately 31 people there from Korea, South Korea. And uh, they toured our facility. They uh, were so very impressed with the technology. And uh, uh, specific, specifically, they were concerned about phosphorus. And uh, they were asking us, well, uh, how low do you get your phosphorus, your total phosphorus? And uh, we told them, we responded, we said, well, we, we get it down to about point, point 0.05 milligrams per liter. And they said, 0 0.05 milligram per liter? That's impossible. And um, so we showed them the data to verify that. And uh, that's one of their main concerns is their phosphorus because they had this uh, this algae, this red, what was it called? Red tide? Red tide. Red tide over there. And it must be very bad. So they're real concerned with the nutrients coming out of their plant, but sp specifically the total phosphorus. So that went real well. And did you uh, uh, get a response from them thanking you for the uh, Opportunity, or did you, on behalf of Elkin, thank them for coming to uh, yes. this town to? Uh, we observe. did thank them, and they thanked us. They actually they gave us some small tokens of their appreciation. They gave me a uh, a small box which I gave to my wife. That I didn't really want. I mean, it was like a it was almost like a little jewelry box or something. But it was made of that uh, special tree that wood. It's it starts with a P. Teak, it wasn't teak, it was Paloma. Is that it? Paloma. Yeah, real white wood. It was a beautiful box, so I gave it to my wife. That was a hit. <laughs> the other thing, too, um, I, I did go down and I did uh, welcome them and 
thanked him for coming over and uh, did see him for a short minute. Yeah, but I was talking in turn, was there any written documentation? That's, I mean, thank you verbally, it's fine, but I'm just saying always with follow-up is, you know, put something in writing. And that's what I asked. Okay. Did, did either side did? I haven't uh, written a, a letter thanking him for coming, but actually uh, we're still corresponding. And I, I just got a, a letter from them just a couple of days ago. Uh, requesting uh, additional data, so I'm going to respond to that, and I can thank them then. Okay, thank All you. Right. Also, uh, Kim. Yeah, we have received a letter. That one of the um, the uh, translators, the professor there, Ken, um, yeah, he had um, sent a, a photo that was taken of uh, the professor and, and Jason and myself, and thanked us. And then I had responded back to the assistant mayor and Lewis and said thank you. You know, we we're very proud of our facility and. For our record, would you uh, also please provide each commissioner with one of those letters as well? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, there we had. Uh, they had a lot of PhDs in the group, uh, so it was. They were. They were very well rounded. They. They had a, a, a very good background already in water or wastewater treatment and so but um, like I said phosphorus is a problem so they were just amazed how well we were doing. Uh, another thing worth uh, mentioning is that we had our uh, we had our annual pre-treatment compliance inspection audit in uh, June 22nd with MDE and it, it went very well and uh, the second part of that is uh, in, in uh, August, we'll be um, we will be doing inspections of the local industry along with MDE. They'll they'll comp accompany us when we do our inspections, so it'll be like a joint inspection of the industry. So that's the second part of the uh, audit. So it should work out real fine. And uh, <clears throat> finally, I've been waiting to, for this moment for a long time. I, I I'd like to present a check to the town, to the mayor and council. This is for the uh, money that was saved uh, the op out of the operating budget, and uh, I have a check here for $105,000. Whoa. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe let's give it to the financial director so we don't lose it. Yeah. Okay, uh, All American Sports Academy. from All-American Sports Academy, Wes Walker. Um, we're here this evening to, initially, we were here for um, a request for alcohol prohibition waiver. I've never heard of all that, but whatever you guys call it, uh, for the event that we had gotten prior approval for, um, for July 18th. Um, as everybody knows, we, we certainly felt that we had permission to go ahead and proceed with the uh, event uh, based on a June 2nd letter that I got from the town. However, uh, shortly after applying for the alcohol permit using Wes Walker's catering license, etc., cetera, um, we were informed that uh, that was not included. Uh, apparently, Mr. Trossel did not bring that up or whatever during the uh, permission side or however you want to phrase it of this uh, of, of us receiving this uh, letter and in in all honesty uh, once we received notification that we were not going to get alcohol permits unless we had this meeting and you folks took the time to meet again for this um, we have had to cancel the event um, because there is just no way